Mike and Sharon, so we continue to follow that breaking news out of Indianapolis, a deadly mass shooting taking place at a FedEx facility there. So let's go straight to Britt Conway this morning with the very latest from the scene. It's important to know that emotions are very high here. Police are still trying to figure out exactly what happened here at this FedEx facility in Indianapolis near the airport after a call came in about shots fired just after 11 o'clock last night. The officers responded, they came in, they went in and they did their job. And a lot of them are trying to face this because this is a sight that no one should ever have to see. Police say the officers on scene found eight people fatally shot. Those eight were pronounced deceased here at the scene. We have been made aware of multiple other people with injuries who have been transported to local hospitals or who have transported themselves to local hospitals. With multiple hospitals in the area, in the early morning, police were working to determine just how many people got hurt but said there was no threat to the community shortly after 1 a.m. when they announced the alleged shooter killed himself on scene. Now they're asking anyone who was there to get in touch with them. Timothy Boylet was taking his break when he heard shots. Four shots went off. Somebody went behind their car to the trunk and got another and got another gun and then I saw one body on the floor. I'm a little overwhelmed. I've worked here for 10 years. FedEx released a statement saying in part, quote, safety is our top priority and our thoughts are with all those who are affected. We are working to gather more information and are cooperating with investigating authorities. I'm Britt Conway reporting. And not long after the shooting, family and friends waited at a nearby hotel for a word on their loved ones. And of course, BNC will keep you updated on this story throughout the morning.